What is up guys, BJ Dell back with a new video. If you clicked on this video, you already know the drama. Someone stole my artwork. I'm so mad, I'm so angry. Um, really not. Uh, if you're an artist online, this has probably happened to you already. If it hasn't happened to you, I guarantee sometime in the future, you will have to deal with this. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you what happened to me and then what you can do if someone uses your artwork without your permission online. Today's video is more of a story time video. So, uh, it's not a tutorial. If you're here for tutorials, this is more informational. I'm going to have a video playing of me working on some stuff so you can still watch my process and maybe get some tips from that. But like I said, it's more of a story time video. So stick with it. It's entertaining. You'll learn lots. Let's roll into the video. All right, guys, a little bit different video today, as I'm sure you can tell from the title. Someone stole my art. Um, this might surprise some of you uh, if you didn't realize that this happens. To be honest, in the art community, it's a pretty uh, common occurrence, especially in um, commercial art. Uh, a lot of people don't like to put in the work for designs. They don't want to hire somebody. They would just much rather steal somebody else's work um, and kind of cut some corners. So... Uh, if you are in the art community or you've done, uh, especially like print on demand platforms, stuff like that before, you might have run into this. Uh, so this video is going to be talking about that. It's more of a story time video, kind of telling you my experience. Uh, I'll show some art as I'm doing it right now on the screen. I'm not actually recording this at the same time as that. This is a separate voiceover. So this isn't going to be like a 100% tutorial. You can watch as I do stuff, but I'm not going to be walking you through any steps. So it's more for entertainment purposes and maybe educational because you can learn some stuff about you know what to do if uh, this happens to you. So um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I do full-time freelance design and illustration. Um, when I post stuff on social media, I usually just post fan art. I don't like to post the stuff that I currently am making for designs that I sell just because Art theft is so rampant, let's be honest. Um, I don't like to post stuff that I do for clients most of the time. Um, a lot of times with contracts, you'll have NDAs, which are um, non-disclosure agreements with clients. So it kind of limits you what you can post. And like I said, when I do a, a bunch of work for myself and a bunch of designs, I don't like to post them and have them you know, stolen and putting up on, on sites on t-shirts or tote bags or whatever else you know, within an hour of posting. So I kind of rely on fan art to connect with, um, you know, people on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. So this is what happened over this weekend. Um, a new 21 pilots video came out. I don't know if you guys are familiar with 21 pilots, uh, but their song chlorine, they just released a new video the other day, uh, in the video is a new character that they introduced named Ned. He's this if you haven't seen the video, a little alien-esque CGI critter thing uh, pretty much looks like a mix between Gizmo from the Gremlins and uh, Falcor, the dragon from NeverEnding Story. So that kind of gives you an idea of what he looks like. Um, super cute, kind of along the lines of, you know, stuff that I draw, you know, cartoony, cute, stuff like that. So I was like, all right, that's you know, pretty cool. Let me go ahead and draw a fan art piece of this and put it up. Now, I recommend doing fan art. I know a lot of artists are against doing fan art, especially professional artists, because, uh, you know, well, I get paid to draw. Why should I draw stuff for free? Well, fan art, number one, is a way to give back to the community. So if you've got, you know, a band or you've got a, a podcast or a movie you like or anything like that, uh, you've got fans that, that like the movie and you can kind of give back to that community, which is, you know, a, a cool thing to do. Uh, secondly, exposure. So let's say you're drawing whatever that you like to draw. You're going to connect with a lot more people if it's fan art um, than you are just like an original drawing of uh, a random thing. So that's why I do it. Uh, those, you know, two reasons to give back and, and exposure. It's cool to uh, to get your name out there and you get new fans, you know, based uh, upon some of the stuff that you do. So that's what I did with this. Made a cute cartoon, Ned is his name, character, and uh, posted it up. 
posted it on Reddit, I posted it on Instagram, and I posted it on Twitter. Um, and it kind of took a life of its own on. Um, I know on Reddit, I think, is the, the biggest reaction to it. It had one, I think, 1 1.3 thousand likes right now or upvotes is where it's at. Um, Instagram, I think it's over 400 likes and then Twitter it's over maybe a hundred and you know, some reposts. So it's not really viral by any means, but it had a decent amount of people that saw it. I've had some other designs that, that have done better as far as the, the reach that they've got. But I mean, for what it was and how early on it was, you know, it got a pretty good initial reaction, initial reach. So hold on a second. I'm going to take a sip of my cappuccino. And yes, I'm not even editing this. You're getting the the raw deal. So I don't like the quick cuts. I don't like to edit. Um, so anyways, uh, it got put up. And then yesterday, today I'm recording this on Saturday. Friday, my phone started blowing up. Not from the retweets, not from the comments, not from followers, not from anything like that. It actually started blowing up from DMs, um, from people on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Twitter, uh, who were telling me that a girl in one of the 21 Pilot fan groups on Facebook was looking for me. I said, okay, this is kind of weird because uh, the picture that I drew uh, of Ned, it actually had my handle for Instagram, Twitter, you know, the whole night on there, the at BJ Dell. So I wasn't sure why she was looking for me based on my picture. And as more people messaged me, as I got more DMs, uh, I was told that she actually was looking for me because she had made a t-shirt of the design that I had did. And she was looking for the original artist of the design because she wanted to send him or her a free t-shirt. So like I said, I've dealt with uh, people like this before. And I knew, you know, right off the bat what it was. It was somebody fishing um, online. They posted this, at, as far as I know, at least to three of the bigger 21 Pilots groups on Facebook, which are, ha I, I think, like 100,000 followers, 90,000 followers. I mean, the the uh, group member count is pretty freaking high. Um, so she posted this looking for the original artist. Um, once I then got a screenshot of the post... I could see the t-shirt that she made. So I had a full color version up, uh, which I'm not sure if I'll put it in the description or on a thumbnail. I don't know. It'll be, you'll see it basically, or I'll put a link to it. Um, this version that she did, it actually was just black line art and it was done really poorly too. Uh, a lot of the details were gone and it just looked bad. And of course the one thing that was gone was my name. So, uh, of course, reading the, the screenshot, it said, hey, uh, I Google searched and found this image and threw it on a t-shirt for myself. Uh, and I'm just paraphrasing now. She actually uh, deleted the post, which I'll tell you about soon. So stay with me. But um, she said, I, I put this on a t-shirt for myself. I love it so much. And I'm looking, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the artist because I want to send them a t-shirt. Now, like I said, I've dealt with this before. I knew exactly what she was doing. So people do this all the time, not necessarily to this extent, but, uh, you don't really, if you, if you have a t-shirt company or you have a store and you're in these groups, there's a lot of rules. You're not supposed to try to sell stuff. You're not supposed to link. It's spammy. Uh, admins look down on it and stuff like that. So instead people like this will use a different route to market stuff that they're trying to sell. And in this case, it was this t-shirt. So, I knew that it was just a load of crap because why would you be looking for the artist when the name of the artist was on the original design? Um, the route that she was taking actually was just to get people to say, oh my God, this is so awesome. I want this on a t-shirt. And then she could say, well, if you want it on a t-shirt, here's my link to buy it, et cetera, et cetera, which she did not do because she did not want to put it up on her store. She actually has a store which I will get to later as well. But she actually has a store and she said, oh, well, I'm not selling them right now uh, online. They're not in my store. I'm still trying to get a hold of the artist, but DM me. And every single person that commented, oh my God, I need this on a t-shirt. She said, hey, so-and-so DM me. Now, 
that means basically DM me so I can tell you how I'm going to sell you this shirt. She didn't want to come out and say it in the comments because obviously once the artist saw it or if they saw it, they'd be like, what are you doing? So, hey, let's just, you know, kind of be shady about this and let's go ahead and say DM me. And I knew that's exactly what she was doing. Like I said, she had this posted in at least three freaking groups. Um, so... As I started getting more and more messages, then people realized, okay, this is who the original artist is. So somebody finally got her to respond to it, and she found me on Twitter. And on my original Twitter post of the design, she you know, left me a comment and said, hey, DM me. I'm trying to DM you, but it won't work, which I'm not sure why it wouldn't work. Um, I don't think I have stuff blocked. I don't know. Uh, so I went ahead and sent her a DM yesterday and said, yo, got your message. And that was it. I didn't want to get into it any more past that. I wanted to see what her response was and, and go from there. Um, so that's that's where it stood. And like I said, as the night went on, I got more and more messages and never, or never received any reply from her. So uh, at the end of last night then, I went ahead and, of course, had to request to join these freaking groups because I'm not a member of these groups. So I had to wait to join the groups and then basically made a post, which I will go ahead and read you the post here. Let's look it up. Bear with me. So my post, and I basically posted the same thing in all the groups. I said, just wanted to share my fan art piece of Ned with the group. I got when my design was posted on a shirt in the groups and there was a hunt for the original artist. I really found that crazy since all of the images of this online actually have my name on them. You know, the name that was removed to make the shirt design, which was done poorly, I might add. I'm a full-time freelance artist. I also design t-shirts. So will I offer this on a shirt? Sadly, no. There are copyright laws that protect intellectual property as well as trademark laws that exist. Just a reminder for fans from people, uh, just a reminder for fans, support the boys. Buy official merch, not bootlegs, from people on the interwebs that steal art. That being said, I appreciate all the love my little drawing has received around the internet. Thanks. And that was basically it. Uh, I got a few people that commented, uh, you know, in support, which was awesome. Like, hey, don't steal people's art. And of course it was stealing the art. But on top of that, it just rubbed me the wrong way that she was still denying that she changed the art, uh, that she didn't know who made the original design, um, that she, you know, was looking for this person. Uh, cause I, I Google searched it myself. I could not find a line art version like she created. And it wasn't even fully line art. Cause like the, the jacket that he was wearing was solid black and you know, so on and so forth. So, and I'll try to put a picture up or, or something of, of her design so you can see it. Um, which I'm not mentioning names, so I'm going to keep that out of it, but that, uh, that's the one part that I won't mention. I'm not going to put her on blast because, uh, she knows who she is. Everybody else in the groups knows who she is and we'll leave it at that. So, um, I did wake up this morning to a, another, uh, message from her. Um, uh, the message that I sent last night, then she finally responded to this morning and said, Hey, sorry for the late reply. It was 10 PM here and wasn't feeling too great and just want to sleep. I was looking for a cute pic of Ned around and found a copy of your image on Google. Wasn't aware it was your image, so posted in the groups until we found you. I hope you didn't mind that I made a shirt for myself, but I think or I thought it was amazing work and I'd like to send you one if that's okay. This is another tactic that people will use if they're wanting to steal your art. Um, it's it's almost like the the old phrase uh, that you know ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Uh, kind of goes along those lines. Plus, a lot of people, too, will steal your art. And then to make it sound like they're a good guy or they're doing you a favor, they will send you a free T-shirt. And then they expect you to be like, oh, my God, thank you so much. You are such a nice person. Yeah, go ahead and use my design, which that's not the way it works, uh, especially when you're an artist that makes money from your art for a living. Um, yeah, I don't need a T-shirt from you with my art. I, I can put my art on any t-shirt that I want. I don't need you to do that for me, especially my art that really wasn't my art because you did it so poorly with Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever she used. I, I really don't know. Um, 
So that was uh, the the follow up text or the follow up DM on Twitter, and then my response was, "Hey there, appreciate the offer, but no need to send a shirt. I'm sure you saw my response to everything in the groups. I'm still curious where you quote found the image you used on the shirt. I don't see the single color version without my name on it anywhere on Google." So the uh, response that she gave then, she sent the picture, which was so awesome because that's really what I wanted her to do was she sent the the picture for me or to me and said, yes, I did see your response in the group and removed the post too because my intention was for nothing other than personal use. This is the copy of the image I had found. I was really deep in a bunch of fan things and theories about their videos, etc., and just came across it. Your original is fantastic and far better. I had no bad intentions with this. So another tactic that a lot of these thieves use, you can see right here. So they... Changed their story a lot, number one. Uh, initially on her post in the groups was she was searching Google Images and found it. Um, someone kind of called her out on that in the groups. And then she changed her story and said, well, I didn't find it. A friend found it and sent it to me. And I'm not sure where they got it from. And then now she's saying that uh, she was really deep in a bunch of fan things and theories about their videos and just came across it. Uh Honestly, I, I had a full color version of the picture. It was cool. There's no reason that anybody would have turned it into this black and white crappy version, except to put it on a t-shirt, which she did. Um, so there's no reason for this to be floating around the internet. And the fact is, it's not floating around the internet because since she sent me the picture that she supposedly found on the internet, went ahead and used 10 Google reverse image search, put it in, and guess what? No results were found. So if it was actually found somewhere, it would have come up. But yeah, guess what? Did not come up. So uh, that kind of tells me all I need to know. So that was the uh, the last DM I got from her. Um, I sent her a reply. And so far, she has not replied, nor has she actually even, I guess, checked it yet. The uh, the box or the check mark still grayed out. So my last response to her was as follows. So first you say you found the image on Google. Now you were really, or now uh, you were really deep in a bunch of fan theories and came across it. The story keeps changing. In one of your posts, you said that you found it and then later said you didn't find it, that someone else did and sent it to you. I did a reverse image search for the pic and uh, does not return any results. If your only intention was for personal use, why were you telling people to DM you when they asked if they were for sale? And that's the part that really bugs me. The fact that she was saying, I was using it for personal use. I wanted to send you a t-shirt. It's free. I'm a good person. Look at me and my charity work that I'm just going to just ship you a free t-shirt out of the goodwill of my heart. But yet she's asking people to DM her. So yeah, I can, you know, kind of see where that's going and I'm sure you can too. So, um, anyways, back to my response. So, I'm a full-time freelance artist who protects my work. Sometimes I will do fan art to give back to the communities I love. I also teach a graphic design class at a studio in town, and part of the curriculum I go over is covering copyright, trademark laws, and best practices with the students. So much of my time is spent responding to infringements like this, and I've become really good at telling what people's intentions are. Like I said, your story has changed multiple times. You had posted a shirt in the groups last year waiting for people to comment. This is another one in the 21 pilot group. She's like, oh my God, look at my new shirt that I just made for the concert or whatever. And then all of a sudden people started coming like, oh my God, I need one so bad. Where can I get them? And she's like, DM me. I'll make one for you. You can buy it off me. Uh, so, uh, and then offering to sell them to members once they did. You don't have licensing rights to do that. And we're obviously taking the same approach to sell this shirt. Post it, wait for people to comment that they wanted it, and then you tell them to DM you, all with the initial front of looking for the artist. My original pic was posted on Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, making it super easy to find. Uh, the time it took you to make your post in all the groups could have been cut in half just by looking. I know you didn't make an attempt to look by how easy it was for me and everyone, or how easy it was for everyone else to find me. I can't begin to tell you the number of DMs across all social media platforms I got alerting me to your post. Those people found me, but you couldn't. Also went to your website, and this is great. It just shows you the character of some of the people that you have to deal with. This 
girl claiming that you know she's not in this to sell t-shirts um she wanted to get a hold of the artist it was you know with best intentions but here's the fact about her website so i went to your website and you are selling toy story and fortnite shirts which you don't have licensing for either that's right she has fortnite shirts and toy story shirts on her website um I'm just going to go out on a limb and say Epic Games and Disney probably didn't license them to her. I'm just, you know, it's just a guess. I think I'm probably right. But, you know, uh, yeah. So you're obviously content with copyright theft. So that's all I need to know and see what your true intentions are. Being in the t-shirt design space myself, I suggest you rethink your business practices and brush up on copyright and trademark trademark laws if you want to run things legit. Like I said, she has not uh, responded to that, so uh, I don't know if she'll see it, if she'll get back to me. She's probably mad now because uh, she actually, I found out uh, after another DM conversation that I had, uh, was removed from at least one of the groups by the admins because I actually got an DM on Facebook later on asking by one of the admins who I was speaking about. She thought she knew, but wanted to see for sure. Um, because this admin actually had a friend in one of the groups who wait for it, wait for it, bought one of the t-shirts off of her. So she's not in for this for selling t-shirts. It's just for personal. They were never for sale. She just wanted to give the artist one. But there's at least one case that the admin showed me of a friend who sent her money through PayPal for the shirt. So see, this is the problem with this, especially for me, fan art. Like I'm legit not making anything off of this. It was done just for fun. Um, so I get mad, you know, when people steal my designs and steal my art that I'm currently selling myself because that's just direct competition and that sucks. But when I'm making something just, for fun that I'm not going to profit off of. It really rubs me the wrong way when somebody else is going to try to go and make profit off of it when I'm not, um, you know, I respect copyright laws and this character, Ned from the 21 pilots video belongs to 21 pilots or the record label or whoever else. I don't own him. I don't have any rights to put him on a t-shirt. I don't have any rights to make money off of their work. And I know that this girl though, on the other hand, thinks that, you know, my artwork, Fortnite logos, Toy Story images are cool to make money off of. Um, and then, you know, kind of plays dumb and denies that that there was any wrongdoing. So, hold on. Cappuccino break. So, yeah, that's, that's how I uh, dealt with this. And like I said, it started yesterday and it's been going on now nonstop. Um, and it happens, like I said, all the time. Uh, if you are... Uh, subscribing to my channel because of my merch by Amazon videos. And when I talk about the NBA business, uh, you maybe have dealt with this before. Um, honestly, I've got to issue uh, infringement claims with Amazon on a weekly basis. Uh, I used to get really bent out of shape with people stealing stuff and putting it on Teespring and stuff like that. But honestly, the, the traffic there is so low and I'm not really too worried about it anymore. When somebody tries to compete with me on compete with me on Amazon with my same design though. Um, that's when I get a little bit more protective of my stuff. Uh, especially I had the guy girl, I don't know who a few weeks ago I had to send in a uh, infringement report to Amazon cause they stole the design, but not only that, they were running ads on it. So it's like, really, <laughs> if you're going to steal a design, you kind of want to fly under the radar to begin with, but yeah, they were running ads and of course they had actually, priced it higher than what I had it priced at, which, uh, if you're familiar with people stealing stuff, they'll usually try to undercut you. Um, so yeah, seeing this one priced higher than my original one was, it was pretty funny. Um, but if you guys have watched, um, uh, my design video that I did the tutorial on the Turduncan t-shirt design for the comedian, Jeff Bodart, uh, Jeff, I had talked to him about like the wonders and the magical side of merch by Amazon. Um, before he was a comedian, Jeff Bodart was actually a graphic designer. 
Uh, that's how I know him. Um, we actually worked together in high school and then we, uh, went to the same, uh, college for graphic design. So that's how I know Jeff, but I said, Hey, with your comedy stuff, you know, you can do merch through Amazon. You don't have to send it out. Amazon handles it. You're a graphic designer. You do your designs yourself. Uh, it's a good platform for you. You could do stuff non-comedy related and, you know, talked it up to him. He applied, he got approved. So I posted that video, the Turducken. He posted it across all of his social media uh, and started getting sales, got BSR ranks. And within the first day, there was a pixel for pixel copycat up of his. So um, I kind of had to talk him off a ledge because, you know, I started getting um, text messages from him pretty much instantly. Like, dude, what is going on? How is this possible? Uh, they used, they like took my exact image. They took my name uh, it's got my name in the title. It's got my name in the the brand name, just like mine does. How is this legal? And it made him, I, I feel bad because it made him rethink uh, the Merch by Amazon platform. Because I told him, like, dude, it's it's a, the nature of the beast. It's part of the game. You got to stay on top of it. You got to send in these, you know, infr infringement reports. So I walked him through the entire process of how to file an infringement claim. And of course, somebody new starting out, that sees success off their first t-shirt to have to file one of those on your very first design, the very first week you put it up, it kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So hopefully, you know, down the road there, you know, Amazon can install some type of features to, you know, combat stuff like this because it's pretty rampant. Um, got him walk through that. If you do file an infringement report, which a lot of people ask, you know, how do I do it? I'm going to put the link for that in this description as well. Um, they started a new process to where once you send it in, they will kick it back and ask for more information. So if you see that, don't get you know alarmed. There's nothing wrong. Just go ahead and fill that out. I guess uh, the reason why they're doing that, um, talking to Ken Real, he told me that they are trying to cut down on fraudulent infringement claims. So a lot of people in the past have retaliated against, you know, people making claims against them and have sent in fake ones. So hopefully this is on the right track to get the infringement process where it needs to be. Um, so that's the change. If you see that email, just fill it out. And hopefully you don't have to do that every time after that. I know um, I sent one through. And they got taken down three or four more pop back up. And like I said to Jeff, it's basically whack-a-mole on Amazon. Um getting these things taken down is just crazy. So, uh, yeah, they, they sent that through the first time. And then after that, that was all I had to do the extra information part. I don't know if maybe they'll do that a few more times over, you know, the next few months and it's just random or, or exactly what it is. So, uh, yeah, that's my story of someone stealing my artwork. Um, my tips for you, for people stealing your stuff. If you're an artist and you just do art, uh, always, always, always put your name on stuff like this. If I hadn't put my name on that original design, people might not have found me and who knows how many shirts she might've been able to sell. But since my name was on that original design, uh, you know, people track me down and a lot of people track me down pretty quick. So always put your stuff, uh, your name on there, uh, whether it be your, you know, your Twitter, Instagram, whatever handle, uh, make it something that's pretty noticeable that people know, okay, this is how you get a hold of that person. So make sure you do that. Plus, I mean, once people start sharing it on Twitter, on Instagram, or if they, you know, pin it to Pinterest, your handle for your Instagram page is on there. So like I said, you're going to get exposure. You're going to get some traffic for that. So it's a good marketing tool too. Uh, so yeah, if you are a designer or you buy designs and you see people stealing those on, you know, platforms like Merch by Amazon or Redbubble or stuff like that, definitely go through the right channels to get them taken down. Uh, like I said, these small like mom and pop things, I would, you know, send like a cease and desist yourself. You don't need a lawyer to do that. Just tell them, hey, this is my design and it needs to be removed. Um, there's some other options you can do too. If it's a Shopify store, you can notify Shopify, uh, about the infringements. So that's a possibility as well. Um, like I said, if it's Teespring, I don't even care about Teespring anymore. Uh, that's even worse than Amazon. You know, that you'll, 
do an infringement report on them. And then the next day, the same people put the exact same stuff back up. They don't care. It uh, doesn't seem like they kick people off the platform like they do on Merch by Amazon. So uh, teach their own on that. Um, I've just kind of let it roll off my back and, and go. So uh, anyways, that's it for today's video about my stolen art. Let me know in the comments. Have you had your art stolen? What is your experience with art thieves on the internet? I would love to hear more from you guys. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Has this ever happened to you? Have you had to deal with these art thieves online? If so, I want to know about it. Put it in the comments. I want to read your story. I will comment on your story. I want to know what's happened to you. Uh, as for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, and Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. So until next time, don't steal people's art and keep creating. Bye.